What's going on guys? Today's video is going to be about the 10 gallon and the fry. Uh, basically they're growing pretty well. I'm um, getting ready to sell a good portion of them, hopefully. Um, if I can actually get them out of the tank, which is going to be quite a challenge. Uh, I'm not even going to lie, that's going to be really hard. I'll probably end up having to take everything out. Which, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to get these guys out of here without having to bring all the shells with me, so... Um, we'll see what happens with that though. Uh, but here's the female right there, and then you got some of the smaller fry behind her. Another small little guy right there. And then you got some of the bigger ones. That guy right there is the biggest and best looking one in here. Uh, so you can kind of get a good idea of what they look like. I'll try and get a better look but yeah that's the the top fry in here I guess you could say um, a, a few others are um, also pretty big that one is like super dark because it spends all its time in the back there where uh, the rocks are dark so all the, the fry back there are darker than the ones up here which is pretty cool I think um, kind of like an evolutionary strategy how you can't see them from above with the darker background like this one that one is super dark, <laughs> almost black, it's crazy, compared to like this guy who's bright white, but um, kind of beside the point, uh, but there's the male right there, oops, there we go, the male's the shy, I don't know, he used to be not as shy, now he's like super shy, I don't know what happened with that, because like I could just scare him right into his shell, super easy, he goes right in, um, the other ones, I. They didn't even move, so that one's looking nice, actually. Um, but yeah, so I want to feed today some, my, or I always call them my sister, my bad, um, Daphnia. And in the light here, hold on. They are like little, um, little like water fleas, I guess. And I just feed them in this little thing. Um, really easy to target where you're feeding them and stuff like that. So I, I just use this. It's pretty easy. Um, and the fry really do enjoy this stuff. It's great for them. Great for all fish. Um, I believe it has a lot of vitamin A and D in it, which promotes uh, really good colors and great growth. So uh, that's that's the main thing would be this will benefit your fish is uh, color and growth. I'm going to try and look through my power strip thing here and turn off the filter. Um, that usually helps with blowing the food around. There goes the air pump and the filter. It's not that one. Not that one. That would be it. Okay. <laughs> usually takes a little while um, to... I never memorized which ones, but uh, whatever. Um, here... I'm gonna, you probably can't see it. That's my little syringe thing. Um, and you can see the fries, they already know. They know, they know what's coming. Um, so I'll just squirrel, you just pretty much squirt a little in there and you'll see it float down soon, but uh, they swarm it pretty quickly. I should have probably waited because there's still a little bit of a current in there, but here come the fry. <laughs> they really do love this stuff. Um, a combination of this and Rapashi Spawn and Grow is like the, the food to feed your fry, I've found, because they just really benefit from it. We've got quite a lot of them in here, actually. The fry, there's like 25, I think, um, which is a pretty good number. Uh, I believe there used to be more. I'm not sure really what happened. I mean, obviously not all of the fry make it, uh, cause, which is probably good because evolution and stuff takes its course and takes out the weaker ones, but I'll kind of zoom back here if they don't all get scared. You can see the little conjugation of them. So, they pretty much took most of that out. That's what happens when you scare them right there. Uh, the whole colony goes to the shells, and then they pop right back out, so. 
little feeding video here for you guys. I'll put a little bit more and then end this video. back a little and you can see it's just it's like a cloud of little Daphnia I guess so they just come in and pick at it um, my adult my old adult fish eat this as well I feed it to my angelfish neon tetras card or not cardinals uh, cherry barbs beta beta loves this stuff um, harlequin resboras I mean every single one of my fish eat Daphnia so once they know what it is they just really take it down So yeah, that's uh that's about as long as I'll make this video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like it, leave me a like, comment, please comment. <laughs> um, I really do prefer comments over likes by far. Um, nothing better than like feedback, actual feedback. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Later.